My name is Christopher Omey, and I work for uh, the law firm of Girardi and Keys. My name is Ashkan Mohammadi, and I work here at the law firm of Girardi and Keys. Uh, Miss Antonio was going to work on December 26, 2012. She took the normal route, which was northbound on State Route 71. Things were going fine. All of a sudden, the semi crossed the center median and smashed into her and two other vehicles. So as a result of the impact with the semi truck, Miss Antonio had very catastrophic injuries. She suffered several, several complex fractures, a lot of complications as a result of those fractures, and she also suffered a severe traumatic brain injury. Road design is complex. You're trying to explain to a jury why a roadway is defective when most of those people have never even probably been on that freeway, and even if they had, it's very difficult to explain to them the different ways in which that freeway is defective without kind of placing them at the scene, looking at it, being able to feel it, understand it, all those things. It's a difficult case against uh, governmental entities. Uh, we had to um, enlist the help of someone that can uh, help demonstrate to juries our different theories in the case, and we turned to DK Global. Number one was to show the state of the freeway at the time and how the accident actually happened. And then we wanted to also depict what the situation would have been like if there was a center median there. Based on what all the experts are saying, that had the center median been there, it definitely would have prevented the accident, the vehicle wouldn't have jumped over, wouldn't have gone through. Back in 1990, there was a project proposed by Caltrans to install a median barrier across the entirety of this portion of the SR-71. The problem was is that after the project report was approved by everyone, every necessary signature, somebody went through another version of it and changed the parameters of the project to a distance that excluded where this accident happened. And what we hired DK for in that respect was that DK basically built us a presentation that showed both these reports, the initial report that was approved and the subsequent report that someone had edited unilaterally without any approval or justification. And it mattered because it shortened the project just above where this accident occurred. And if it hadn't, there would have been median barrier there and this incident would have been prevented. You need uh, the animators such as DK Global to work hand in hand with the experts and they did a fabulous job setting up interviews and making sure that we can get these animations into evidence. We were the whole time preparing as if we were going to trial. We were confident but we knew how the state behaves. They don't pay big money and we knew that the law was on their side. So we were pretty guarded going in. We had basically told the state that uh, we would only be willing to mediate if they came in at seven figures. Pretty much right from the outset, um, we realized that they were very serious about settling the case. And I know, looking back, that that was due in large part to A, the information we had uncovered, but more importantly, the way that we were prepared to present it at trial. And that, a lot of that had to do with DK. We were able to get $6.65 million for our client. We were really happy with the result and ultimately happy with what DK Global was able to do with the case.